Did you press record? Oh, yes. Today what we're going to be doing is installing a wood flunk in the... A flunk. <laughs> what is a flunk? Today we're going to be doing is installing a wood trunk in the BRZ. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time and I never realized how cheap it was or we probably would have done it by now. After hours of deliberation at home hardware, home depot, wherever we went, to get the wood, um, we finally picked a color. We went with Boston Cherry. I don't know what that means to you, but it means nothing to me. Um, we wanted to find something that would look not like really bright because we didn't like the way the brightness looked, but we didn't want really dark because it would like absorb the trunk, if that makes sense. So we went with this, wonderful Boston Cherry. So basically my idea here is to replace the carpeting in the trunk with the wood. And me and Courtney went back and forth a bunch of times about she wants to see the boards. So Courtney's idea is to have the pieces of wood run horizontal, horizontally like this across the trunk. And my idea was to have them run vertically so like this is the trunk and this is the back of my seat. And I, like it really doesn't make that much of a difference to me. But I think I decided that because of the way the BRZ has like those little out curves in the trunk, doing it this way will look stupid because I'm gonna have to make cuts here and in order to get those little side pieces out, like when you take the trunk out of this, they're the little mat, you have to fold up the edges to get it out. So if I put it this way and all the lines are already this way and then I cut it again this way, I feel like that will look weird. Whereas if the lines already run this way and I cut it this way, it'll kind of go with the existing lines. So that's our thoughts. That's what we're doing today. Hopefully it turns out cool. It cost me $17 for Seven pieces or eight pieces? Cost me seven. Ooh. Cost me seventeen bucks for enough wood to do the whole trunk. So that's what we're doing today, and praying that it actually works the way I envision it working because I wanted to. So if you look at my trunk right now, because of the way my sub is sitting, and I took out everything under here. If you guys remember from a long time ago, I took out everything under here so that I can mount my sub or my amp and stuff under here but that kind of gave way. There was supposed to be a little support across this and it's no longer there. So the sub sitting in the middle has kind of bent this over time. And I'm thinking that the wood will be enough to kind of give it enough support to not do that. Um, I might just put the wood directly over top of this and that way it'll give it a little bit more stability. But this is what I meant for the folding parts. So to get this piece in and out, you have to actually fold both edges to make it fit through this hole. So if I were to put these boards lengthwise, I would have to cut them this way anyways. So there would be lines going both ways, which is where I feel it would be a little weird. So when we were buying this, we chose laminate because, well one, it was cheap. Vinyl floors are like not thick enough. This is like eight millimeters thick and it's like tongue and groove so you just click it in and all the way across, it's glues. It's meant to be just clicked in and left. Okay, so now the only thing that we're gonna have to worry about here is that this is bent. So we'll need you to like stand on it while I outline it. If you guys do this yourself, you can probably do it alone. I just like, look at mine, it's all bowed and ruined. So I had to get Courtney to sit on it to kind of make it flat. It's really hard for you guys to see, but I did it in pencil because I want to be able to erase it and not do it in Sharpie and screw it up. But the outline turned out pretty good. We're gonna have basically the pencil forward of leftovers. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I, was, I wanted to do maybe up the back of my rear seat, but I don't know if that'll be too like ricer-esque. We'll have to get this done and then see what we want to do with this. My thought process here is that I'm going to take these outside, we're going to cut them wherever the lines are, take them back apart and cut the boards one by one, then put them all back together once they're done. I'm going to save as much of the top as possible, um, that way we can maybe do something cool with it later. But you'll notice we're barricading the garage today and that's because the whole friggin neighborhood decided to get landscaping done before winter comes. So literally three houses over there and one house over here has people blowing leaves and cutting grass and making noise. So I apologize for the fact we've been barricaded in this garage all day, but we're just trying to make it so you guys can hear me. Outside you can't hear a thing. So if I have any complaints or problems, I'll have to tell you about it after we cut it. I found that none of these edges are actually like perfectly straight on every board. On every board it starts to slope a little bit. So I'm gonna use this skill saw, jigsaw, whatever the hell this one's called, with a little wood blade in there. Yeah. 
So we got everything cut. There's some spots that are a little bit rough, like down here, it's hard to get the jigsaw to do that, that exact turn. Um, like, if you look at it like that, it probably looks pretty good to you guys, but to me, it's not perfect as I wanted it to be. So I'll probably take a sander and just go over the edges and just smoothen it all out. But like, for the most part, the sanding part's irrelevant. This is looking as good as I think it's gonna get. We're thinking about getting thin little hinges so that we could make the slice for where, say, this piece would fold up and hinge it to the bottom. However, my car, as you guys know, is not really meant to be, under there is not meant to be touched now. I've got all the wires from my amp and my sub and everything hardwired to where I want them, and they're supposed to just kind of be left. So I'm not gonna do that today because I don't ever go under there. I don't have a spare, I don't have any tools. I got rid of all that. So I never go under there, I have no purpose. So I'm gonna leave it like this for today and just clip it in. I hate all the action on this friggin' street. So for now, it's staying this way. So for all you guys that are complaining that I didn't do it to your satisfaction, I'm going to, just not today. So tip to anybody that does this themselves, label these before you put them in. Other than that, I think I'm actually gonna build it like over here. Dude, look at this. Now that it's like together, we did a fun job building this trunk piece right here. When it's all together, you don't notice all the imperfections. The one thing that I hate myself for is right here, I tried to cut it out so that you could grab that tab to pull up the whole thing, and now everybody's gonna notice it. But before, you Once probably it's in there, you won't notice. Yeah, that looks actually sick. I'm stoked. Hot damn, dude, look at this. So one thing I noticed while doing this is that if you're gonna do this and have it be your only layer, in these corners, there's about an inch gap between where the carpet ends because there's a little lip the carpet sits in and here, so there's a little bit of gap there. And then on this side, there's the same thing. But other than that, like the fitment right up to the front here is perfect. My little deloop I cut for this tab is actually off to the side a little bit, but whatever, I tried. Um, but yeah, like I'm super happy with that. Look how good that looks. Doesn't that look nice? It looks beautiful. I think that's freaking sweet. I think you'll need to put a support underneath it though, because I noticed when you were wiping it down, it was really bendy. Yeah, I definitely will. Just like one going across this way. Yeah, yeah, a board underneath just to keep them stable. That's probably what I'll do. I'll glue a piece of board across the bottom here. I won't be doing that today. I don't know where I left you guys off last. I think I told you I wasn't gonna do this, but I decided to do it. Because basically, when I took this piece of tire and stuff out, there was a support here. That's why this is bending. So when I put that on there, and it leans in the middle where there's a, a tongue and groove, it bends too. So what I'm gonna do is it's not anything special because I only have like deck board, but I'm gonna cut a piece that'll go across here to give it some stability. <laughs> Yeah, babe, look what we're doing. So, this fits in there and in here. Now to everybody who's currently crying right now, just know that this is a temporary fix because I plan on getting the bottom layer here to look a little bit nicer. So something's gonna have to change here. Don't know what and I don't know when, but just know that this is not a forever kind of fix. That's much better, so now right here, where the wood is, obviously you're seeing it bending a little bit because the carpet underneath is all out of wax, so it's pushing it up in different places and when you press it down it actually sits, which it just needs a couple days to get itself together here and get it figured out. But look at that, dude. What a mod. This makes me so happy, you have no idea, and I have no idea why. I just think it looks so cool. Ideally one day we can mount a compressor and do some cool stuff, but for today, that's the way it is. I'm stoked on that. That's something I've wanted to do for so long and I'm so happy we finally were able to do that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today while we did this. I hope you guys are enjoying the little I quit work and I'm growing my flow back out. Haircut. We have some stuff we gotta get to today. I will probably be finishing this up another day, uh, like putting a proper piece of wood under there and maybe putting some wood up the back seats. I don't know, let me know if you guys think that would be a good idea. Just to run the extra boards up and then have like a whole wood trunk or maybe I should face them on the sub when I get my new box. I don't really know, but I have extra wood and I kinda wanna use it because I enjoy doing this today. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed building this as much as we did. I will catch you next time. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.